We are continuing to look ahead to the 2024 football season, and it is a privilege today to get to visit with Coach Andrew Rice. Our stop is in Weatherford, Oklahoma, and Coach Rice, the new head football coach for the Southwestern Bulldogs. Coach, new position. Congratulations on the hire. Talk a little bit about being in Weatherford. Yeah, it's been a it's been a whirlwind, you know, since we got here, got the staff in place. Uh, you know, being back in Oklahoma has been been awesome. The the people of Weatherford, the the campus community, the the community out in town, everybody's been really welcoming, and so it's it's been a, a great transition up to this point. Well, you you have the spring football practices in the books now. Tell us a little bit about how the spring went with this new program. Yeah, I mean the biggest the biggest thing was getting here. Uh, getting a staff in place, you know, implementing our systems, kind of seeing where guys uh, fit into the different schemes. And, and then really the biggest piece is just establishing the, the culture, the camaraderie of, of what we wanted our program to look like, what we wanted our team to look like, and, and how we wanted those guys to operate. You come to Southwestern most recently from Southern Arkansas. I know you've had some stints, high school and college football, both in the state of Oklahoma. You were the offensive coordinator for the Mule Riders, a team, by the way, that went 10 and 2. I had a chance to watch that last game that you coached at, getting to call the Live United Bowl, a big victory over Missouri Western in that game. But this is a team that put up a lot of points, a couple of 60 spots last year as well. Talk about your most recent stop and how's that translate then? Yeah, it's, I'm very fortunate. Um, you know, I've, I can't thank Coach Smiley enough and uh, the guidance that, that I had uh, while at Southern Arkansas, and we had a great staff with a bunch of great kids that uh, really bought in in a short amount of time while we were there. Uh, but, but Coach Smiley, you know, going over there, stepping into it, getting that thing rocking and rolling, was, it was awesome from a coach's perspective to get to be a part of it and learn and, and grow. And uh, like I said, it was, it was awesome to see, you know, year one to year two, uh, you know, what – kids can do developing in a, in a program and in a system. And uh, so it was a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, our, our staff and kids deserve all the credit uh, over there for, for what they did. We're here on Midwest Sports Net talking about the 24 football season with Coach Andrew Rice from Southwestern. And Coach, I know a lot of those stops that you had in, in high school and even in college in the state of Oklahoma, they were in the east and northeast side. Uh, one, you know, a stop in Edmond as well. So, how does it feel to be out west, where the wind really does come sweeping down the plain? Oh, uh, it's great. Our, uh, you know, I joked around with our quarterbacks uh, in the spring. Uh, it'll be a nice advantage because they'll be used to throwing in it. But, you know, anywhere, anywhere in the state of Oklahoma is a good, good spot to be. And, like I said, just fortunate to to be back over here. You know, there's a great crop of high school coaches, high school programs to, to draw from, you know, in recruiting. And so I'm just, I'm, I'm very lucky to be back over here. You talked about recruiting and you signed nearly 40 on signing day back in early February. Uh, most of those high school students, a few transfers. Talk about your first signing class. Yeah, I think given the situation, it's always difficult, you know, coming in and especially with the transition in December into January, you know, I think our, our staff, our, our coaching staff, they deserve a lot of credit for the relationships that they already had in place at, at different places that they were at and kind of drawing it and mixing it all together. Uh, it was a big priority for us with this first high school class of setting the foundation of the program and, uh, you know, just showing guys how we can help them both, you know, on the football field, but, but in the classroom and, and off the field with, with life over the next four years. And so was really pleased with the work that they did uh, to be able to get such a good class put together in a short amount of time. Of those that signed a couple of transfers were quarterbacks. And you, know, you mentioned talking to your quarterbacks. That's, that's a key spot. I know people like to hear about that one in particular. So you have a couple that have transferred in and there were a number that were listed as uh, QBs last season as well. How many of them stuck around and what kind of competition are we looking at? Yeah, so all through spring, uh, I, I was really pleased with the way that, you know, the new guys came in and competed. And, you know, the guy that's still on the roster got hurt last year, a young man named Scott Pfeiffer that's an, an Edmund kid, um, you know, coming back from his injury. And and so it'll be a healthy crop with with him. Uh, Tay Robards, a grad transfer, uh, Chandler Galvin. There's, there's going to be a good competition, which is always good because – that's going to bring out the best, but just 
really proud of the way they came in, uh, really attacked, uh, you know, studying the offense, uh, learning how to go out and operate, and, and now growing into, you know, leading the offense, leading the team is kind of be their, their next big step as we go throughout the summer and competing in the fall. There, there was still talent, though, in the cupboard when you got to Weatherford. I, I know that there's always going to be some transition, some coming in, some coming out with a new coaching group that uh, you bring in, the, the folks that uh, some will be a great fit, some may not, but still talent there. What what do you think it's going to take to bring out the best in this group in for 24? Well, we, you know, we, we have had a tough spring, you know, up to this point, and really wanted to work the guys with, you know, breakfast club and 6 a.m.s and stuff like that. And I think, you know, one of the big things just, again, with us, how we're operating, uh, kind of the expectation, the standard of, of you know, the consistency of, of what we want as a program. I think that, uh, again, seeing the blueprint that, that Coach Smiley kind of put out when we were at Southern Arkansas, I think that uh, that allows guys to thrive. And just when you know, when they know what what's expected of them, and you hold them to that, you know, good things typically happen. Well, you're no stranger to the Great American Conference, having spent the last two seasons there. Again, some success last year, 10-2 and two with Southern Arkansas. I know it's a little bit to look ahead right now, around four months or so away, a little more than that. Your season gets underway on a Thursday night in Arkadelphia, September 5th. We'll travel on the road to take on Washita, and, and uh, that's always – uh, a challenging game. Washita has been a, a strong team within the GAC for a number of years. But uh, first time the folks there at Weatherford will get a chance to see their team at home will be the following weekend, September 14th, as Arkansas Monticello comes to town. So can you – it's a little bit far out to preview, but talk a little bit about the opening to the season. Well, what we're trying to focus on right now is just chipping away. You know, we still have a couple of weeks left to finish up in spring. We've got – you know, testing going on in the weight room, out on the field, finals, and then kind of some some time that the guys will have on their own before uh, they get back here in July and for fall camp. And so, you know, right now we're just trying to take this thing by phases and really chip away and attack. And then, you know, leading into the the season, you know, finding a way to go out there and 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 compete, play together, and 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 put it out on the field. You know, uh, so. For us, one of our big strengths, like I said, has just been chipping away at different phases up to this point, not trying to look too much uh, into the future and just, just growing in the different areas of, of the off season. All right. Well, success to you all. We'll be following the Bulldogs this year. And I appreciate you taking some time to talk about uh, your staff and, and what's going on in Weatherford. Andrew Rice, the new head football coach for Southwestern Oklahoma State University. Coach, thank you very much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Thanks, appreciate it.